Hi guys, you might think Jess, why do you vlog yourself on your worst days when you look half dead? And my answer to that would be, this is how I look most of the time, so why hide it? <laughs> we have a concert to go to tonight, a show, a gig, oh my god, I'm a hundred. We have a gig to go to, that's what I would have called it in the past, now I want to call it a show. We have tickets to see the Bare Naked Ladies. I have managed to never see them before and I'm like what I've liked them for over 15 years and yeah somehow I've managed to never catch a concert of theirs they live in Toronto for god's sake and I have lived here for three and a half years and I have never managed to see them still so it's quite a big deal that we get to go tonight we have really good tickets so I bought them like eight months ago but I feel dreadful I feel so terrible I know that's kind of pretty obvious by the oh shadows lovely oh they're not shadows they're just your eye bags <laughs> cats are being catarific in the background i haven't fed them yet i'm being a bad cat mother so my anxiety has been super super bad for like the past two weeks and i am on my third day of having no coffee oh my god guys it's so horrible. Coffee has never made my anxiety worse in the past, which everyone is so different, honestly. More people will be affected by coffee negatively with their anxiety, but I'm not one of them. And I've always been like, you know, I only have like one cup, two cups a day. I'm not like a eight cup a day person. Anyway, after a lot of research, it turned out that one of my newer medications that we're trying can have an, a like a interaction with coffee. So we're just trying it out. But the problem is <laughs> with the drop in medication and the lack of coffee, I am like a walking zombie. I slept for 10 hours last night and this is what I look like. I am not a happy bunny. And yeah, I decided to vlog today anyway because I've been not vlogging because of how I've been feeling. So I've been feeling so shit and I'm like, I don't know, I just don't like hiding that kind of stuff, you know? Because it feels like, yeah, it feels like I'm ashamed of it and it's like not something to be ashamed of. It's just part of my life. And yeah, I'm gonna try and vlog the show a little bit. And yeah, it might be a super short vlog, especially if I run away halfway through because I feel so terrible. Um, although I'm not a runner, <laughs> I'll force myself to stay in a place to try and, you know, uh, help my anxiety by staying. Uh, that's a whole nother story. If you know anything about um, therapy for anxiety, you'll know what I mean. This is going to be quite an open, honest video, probably, especially because I'm so freaking tired. I tend to get really honest <laughs> when I'm tired. Because I'm too tired to remember, like, what I normally don't talk about. Got some hungry kitties over here. Hey, cheetah puss. You want some dinner? Yeah. Poor little boy's been screaming for dinner for, like, an hour. And I've just been, like, wandering around trying to get dressed and get really confused and, like, meh. Yeah, I've got to leave in about two hours. We're getting a taxi there. Which I feel terrible about, but I'm just, like I said, I'm just that exhausted and in a bad way that I'm like we need to just get a cab I just can't but two hours still isn't very long and I'm like I was planning normally I would do my hair put some makeup on you know to go out but I'm like is it a bit <laughs> the words aren't even happening properly so we shall see I'm drinking a cup of milk guys out of my coffee cup like this is the cup I always use in the morning it's like not even a herbal tea or anything. Do you know how horrible it is to start the day without a hot drink? I have herbal tea, it's just like, if I drink it, I get so, I'm so upset about not having coffee. I would do anything to help my anxiety. I really would, I would stop eating or drinking anything. But in the past, like I said, 
I've done so many, so many trials of not having caffeine and it's made no difference to my situation. I'm trying to make it really clear that it's my situation just because I know other people who have really good success at cutting caffeine out and it really helps them. So I don't want you to take anything. Oh my God, I'm paranoid today. Um, <laughs> I don't want to talk too much about my anxiety today just because it, you know, I just want to try and make a vlog of what's going on and I don't want to make it all about that especially because I don't generally talk about that a lot on this channel but like I said I'm trying not to hide it all together because so many people suffer with it and yeah I might meet some of you in the comments that have it and you might go oh I've got it too and I'll be like I never knew that and it's always better to kind of know other people that have it, it makes you feel less alone but boy am I being a bitch baby about not having coffee <laughs> honestly I have had some decaf coffee like not today though um but apparently that still actually has some caffeine in it and I'm trying to be like if I go like off something if I block something out of my diet I go hardcore block like I won't have any of it so I haven't had any yet today and <laughs> when the man shape gets home because he's coming home early I am gonna be like please go have some coffee just one, just one, let's see what happens. And then I'll probably have it and have a terrible night and it will be all my fault. Usually coffee actually improves my mood. I said I wasn't gonna to talk too much about this. Okay, let's talk about something else. I don't know how I can sleep for 10 hours and still feel as bad as yesterday. I can hear him, he's home now. Should we watch him come through the door? He'll be super happy about that. Oh, look, Marshall's gone to greet him. I think he might have mail doing it very slowly. Do you have mail? Yeah, see, I told you. <laughs> um, I don't know why the flash is on. Why the fuck's the flash on? They were both sitting on the box and it was cute and now it's ruined because I flash scared them. What the fuck? Why the hell is the flash on, Gary? I now have one hour until we have to leave and this is as far as I've got. I've done my hair, that's it. I'm not dressed, <laughs> no makeup on. I mean, I have clothes on clearly, but these aren't what I'm wearing. Ugh, I'm trying to do my makeup and this thing it keeps grabbing at all my stuff and if you could not that would be great because I haven't got a lot of time dude. I'm sure you don't want my lipstick really. No, this is not a kitty party. This is not a kitty party. Okay, they might look like toys. They're not. They're mummy's toy. Oh dear. Ooh. Well, ready to go now. Um, I'm actually on time for once, which is really bizarre. <laughs> um, I don't know how much I'll be able to film, but um, I've always wanted to go to Massey Hall, which is where the concert's happening, and it's a really, really old building, so I hope I get to get some footage from inside. So, let's go. How cold do we look? And we're still indoors. <laughs> it's actually really cold in the flat. It's never cold in the flat, is it? No, but it is. Now. And it's really cold. Yeah, I'm freezing. I'm gonna go outside and it's gonna be really cold. Yeah, we're going now. Cat is so unimpressed that we're leaving on a Friday night. Somehow the screen has flipped upside down, but I'm hoping that will fix itself in editing. Yeah, he's like, what are you doing? It's pizza night. Where are you going? You just eat pizza and X Files, I'm afraid it's. We're here, just picked up our tickets. Yay. This place is so beautiful. Look, it's not focusing. It's not focusing.
I forgot to vlog when I came out. I've kind of lost my voice a bit and I can't hear it out of my left ear. And I think my hands are gonna get bruised from all the clapping. It was so good. And at the end, um, Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister came on. And it was like, everyone went a bit insane. I mean, including me. I haven't got that excited about something for quite a long time. Gonna talk to you after I've had a cup of tea. It was such a good night. I'm so glad we made it. I forgot to finish the vlog again. <laughs> I'm so great at that. I'm so tired. I'm such an old fart. I used to go to gigs like on a weekly basis growing up and now I can't remember the last time I went to a live show and it's so weird because we were talking about it on the way there tonight and I was like I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know the last time I went to a proper live concert so I kind of forgot the effect live music can have on me. Like when you really, really love a band. And uh, yeah, had a bit of a, bit of a moment with myself. <laughs> I didn't cry or anything, but I was like, yes, this is where I belong, I forgot. So, planning on um, trying to find some more stuff to go and see. Like I said, I'm really tired, so I'm a bit there. <laughs> and the only reason I remembered to um, finished the vlog was because I went to go to bed and then saw my face and I was like oh I still have makeup on oh I was filming stuff oh I went out tonight great way to finish I remembered something that I forgot <laughs> um I apologize if any of the footage I put in is really shit <laughs> we um the place we were sitting didn't have the best my camera wasn't great Let's just say that. I really couldn't get like good footage and obviously I can't play a lot of it because of the music but I'll put in photos and stuff like that. The thing I remembered that was just so crazy was right at the end, I won't like spoil it in case you ever go and see them on tour, but their encore is like the funniest encore I've ever seen that I can remember. It's just, it's such a great show. If you ever get the chance to go and see the Bare Naked Ladies Live, just do it. It's it's incredible, it's awesome. The thing I remembered was D frickin' Schneider from Twisted Sister came on right at the end as like a surprise thing. I'm guessing this is just because he happens to be in Toronto at the moment and they sang We're Not Gonna Take It and I just freaked out and yeah, belted my lungs out to the song and it was just so cool because I was like not expecting that and I never thought I'd get to see that live and I was just like, oh, I have a random little story about Twisted Sister, but I'm not sure I'll bother to tell it because it's not very interesting to anyone else. But when I was about five years old, I went to a birthday party, which was a disco, and there was a dance competition for the children. And um, yeah, I won it somehow. <laughs> I think they must have felt sorry for me. That's all I can imagine. And I won a Twisted Sister uh, record LP because that's how old I am. And yeah, that's what it always makes me think of when someone says Twisted Sister, I think of me winning this record and being so excited and having no idea who they were because I was five. And yeah, it was just, it was a kind of little, weird little dream come true thing tonight. So yeah. And um, on the note of anxiety, I, I was fine tonight and it was just, I'm so fucking glad I went and pushed through the fear because yeah. I've just got this brilliant memory to um, keep with me. And yeah, I'm just I'm just all happy. And I'm going to go and take this makeup off and go to the fucking bed because it's half past four in the morning and I need my sleep. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
<laughs> and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.